again it has been forever since i recorded an actual video for youtube um, for the last several months i have been um, being very active on my impact central business page on facebook and going live every other wednesday for my why wednesday so as of lately the only thing you guys have been watching is my recordings of my Why Wednesdays on Facebook. So I'm, I'm excited to come back to you all just free flowing um, with an actual video specifically for YouTube. Um, I'm excited because God put something on my heart a couple of days ago and I'm just gonna explore it with you all. Um, I don't even know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna entitle it. It's just something that's so so beautiful to me and the word is beautiful and so i'm gonna be glancing down at some notes but i, I really honestly just want this to be something that that helps people with perspective uh life gets hard and challenging as it is and if we can strategize and identify ways to help us to move through life a little bit easier and a little bit more smoother then by all means share it with me as long as it is according to the will of god i am buying into it and so this was just an, a thought that came to me um early monday morning and it was in the midst of my prayer time while i was just talking to god and the and the the quote that popped up in my head it was that god makes everything beautiful and when i thought about that i'm just like it just makes you want to melt when you think about the fact that everything is beautiful. In the eyes of God, everything is beautiful. The thing about it when it comes to mankind is that it's difficult for us to see beauty in things when there's so much turmoil around us, when there's so much chaos around us, and when there's ugly things and ugly people around us and even ugliness on the inside of us. So we tend to find it difficult to see the beauty in things because of what's consistently surrounding us and what is consistently consuming our lives and our ability to focus and concentrate on things. And so I wrote some things down um, that really just spoke to me when I thought about it because there's literally... Um, one scripture that stood out to the most to me in terms of su supporting this statement. It's not really supporting supporting it specifically, but it's something that ties very closely to the statement. And that is in Romans 8, 28. Um, majority of us probably know the, the verse, but all things work together. All things work together. So um, we can think about all of the, the ugly things in life, all of the experiences that we've had and all of the the turmoil that we've had to experience and um, the negative experiences in our lives and if we put all of those things together it doesn't look pretty it's not something that we would consider beautiful but again in the eyes of god when all things work together for the good so eventually when you look at it as a whole you can see the beauty in it. And 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 one of the scriptures that I was reading in, in John chapter, I believe it was John chapter 16, around verse 24 or so, um, it made reference to the, the, the difficulty and the challenge of a mother um, going into labor. And so, yeah, I've not ever birthed a child um, so I can't speak to it, but I can probably imagine that the amount of pain that a mother has to go, that a woman has to experience in order to get to the other side, which is to see um, their child that they've been carrying for nine, nine months 
they can see that baby and they can hold that child. They can, and, and I don't care how wrinkled that baby looks. I don't care how tiny that baby is. I don't care how chubby that baby is. I don't care how big those eyes are. It doesn't matter what that child, um, what their features look like. They're, that baby is beautiful. That baby is perfect. Never mind all the pain that that mother had to go through. Never mind all the sacrifices that that family had to actually go through and experience in order to prepare for that child and, that, and to prepare for a family. Because when they got to hold that, that which would um, be the fruition of all the things that they had to sacrifice, it all makes sense. So all things do work together for the good. And so individually, it's tough. Individually, it may look ugly. Individually, it may feel uncomfortable. But when you put it all together, it's beautiful. And so this is the most probably the quickest video, <laughs> the shortest video that I'll probably ever record unless the Holy Spirit keeps me talking right now because um, this is exciting me. I don't know about you, but like if we all would just do our endeavor best to look at our lives, not just um, not just compartmentalizing our lives to say these are the bad things that are happening and then these are the good things that are happening. Like look at our lives as a whole and begin to recognize what beauty can come from the turmoil that can come from the ugly and the bad and the negative experiences, the difficulties in life, the challenges, the the things that are 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 met with such um chaos all of those things actually have beauty wrapped up in the midst of it but sometimes in our carnal minds and the way that we think and the way that we see because we have to pray to see things in, through god's eyes we have to have a level of discernment to be able to see things the way god sees them to be able to hear things the way that god hears them the, to, to be able to feel things the way that God feels them. We have to have a level of discernment. And again, discernment can be impacted negatively. It can be stifled. The effectiveness of, dis of, of discernment can be impacted negatively when we are burdened down with stuff, with issues, with problems, with the drama that we're experiencing, with the trauma that we've had to go through. Sometimes visually we, we, we're impacted and we can't see it. They, um, the Bible talks about the, the blind man where God had to remove the scales from his eyes. Can you imagine that, that Jesus, I mean, Jesus had to, when he healed them, the scales from his eyes began to fall away. So I, want, I, I tend to believe that trouble and trauma in our lives can spiritually cause scales to be just to, to just cover our eyes to the point where we are not able to see what God sees in the midst of that and that makes it challenging for us to go through it we talk about we're going to get through it but how many of us know how to get through it the best way to go through it is to be able to see it the way God sees it that way we can approach it the way God approaches it. And that way we can actually put to use the strategy that God gives us. And although it doesn't make humanistic sense, it doesn't make carnal our, our carnal mind, it, can't, it doesn't make sense to us in our carnal mind, but spiritually it makes all, all kinds of sense. If we try to tell it to someone who is not spiritually inclined the way that we are, or they're not able to see it the way we see it, then it's not going to make sense to them. And that's okay. They don't have to see it the way you see it, as long as you see it the way God sees it. So this is just another level of encouragement and hopefully a level of strategy that we can all take to heart and start being able to recognize what is it what is it that god sees in this situation it is hell on high wheels right now i am in the fire right now are you but are you seeing the fire or are you seeing the blessing in the midst of the fire 
Are you recognizing the opportunities in the midst of that fire? Because there's something in it that we can see that God wants us to see, but sometimes something impending is keeping us from being able to see it, feel it, experience the beauty, everything beautiful. There's absolutely nothing, nothing that God that, can, that God can make that is not beautiful. Everything is beautiful. And if we can uh, begin to re re recall that and, and rehearse that, um, begin to declare that every single day, everything is beautiful. I wrote down, I believe God wants to reveal and teach us how to experience beauty in every area of our lives at all times. Is that possible? Yes, because beauty is everywhere. Beauty is everywhere. Even when the leaves begin to turn brown and orange and yellow, like I enjoy fall leaves. They can be brown, they can be crunchy, crispy, broken, but that color is divine to me. I love it. It doesn't mean just because they're no longer green that they're no longer beautiful. There's still beauty in everything that God makes. Beauty is everywhere. Sometimes it can be inconspicuous. It truly is within the eyes of the, of the beholder. So if you behold what is true, what is true, asking God to reveal to you what is true about this situation, not what I think, not what I feel, not about the actual um, events and the occurrences in that particular situation, because the actual events of that situation, man, the, the weight of that alone, a negative situation, a bad situation that you're going through, when you really start paying attention, if you get into a fight and someone punches you, you're not thinking about where the how the fight started. You think about the fact this person just punched me. Right, And so but the Holy Spirit wants to be able to break things down, break that situation that you're in right now. He wants to be able to break it down for you so that your spirit of discernment can be able to be utilized in that situation. Not just so that you can just cover it up as if it's not there or, or the reality of it is not true and real. It, the reality is true, like you really are going through it or you really are experiencing it. But if you want to go through it in such a way that you can still roll out of bed, that you can still interact with people, that you can still go to work every day, that you can still do what you need to do every single day and not neglect things because of stress and depression. God wants to help you to go through it. And the best way to go through it is to learn how to see the beauty in it. Beauty, is in everything. God makes everything beautiful. I hope and pray that you believe it. I hope and pray that you begin to believe it. I hope and pray that you begin to recall it, begin to recite it, begin to consistently say it and declare it over and over again, that God makes everything, everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. So that's my message. That's what I wanted to share with you. It's real quick. Um, I hope and pray that this is something that you uh, take, to heart, take to heart and that you feel led to share it with someone because it, it, it lifted me up. <laughs> it lifted my heart up so much. And I wanted it to lift your heart up as well. So um, I look forward to coming back to you guys again with some more um, quick hopefully quick nuggets and even some long winded nuggets. I don't mind, I don't mind talking to you guys, but thank you so much. Um, please, please, please help me out by subscribing if you've not yet. Um, I really want to grow this channel. And um, if you liked it and if it's something that uh, benefited you well and you would potentially want to hear more, please um, like it um, or even sh you know, share a comment to share with me that it impacted your life in a positive way and it blessed you and you heard from God through listening to me. That's what's most important to me. You growing closer to God 
because you heard God through me. There's nothing more powerful than that. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Have a good rest of your day and a great weekend. Um, see you guys next time on Speak Show on the TV. Bye.